Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the updated Tesla Model Y Juniper that has been seen in camouflage similar to what we saw about two years ago with the Tesla Model 3. Uh, as you know, the Tesla Model 3 recently got a uh, refreshed look, new upgrades to the inside of the car and everything like that. And what's expected is the Model Y is going to get that same update. Now, while the Model 3 got its update, we knew that the Model Y would be about a year, maybe even two years delayed behind the Model 3 refresh. So, but we always expected it, and its code name is Project Juniper. But the updates are expected to be very similar to what the updates were on the new Model 3. And if you haven't yet, I got a video of me going and test driving the new Model 3 with all its upgrades, all wheel drive version, and we go through a lot of those features. And let me tell you, the car is a lot nicer. Uh, there's just a lot of good quality to life features. And we're gonna go about those, go through those right now, which you can expect to see on the upgraded Tesla Model Y Juniper, and when we think you might be able to get that. So some of the updates that you can expect on the new Model Y when it comes out, it's gonna be the exterior. It's gonna have a slight refresh, most likely, with upgraded headlights, similar to what's on the Tesla Model 3 shown here, as well as new tail lights to give it a new look. It'll probably have a little bit of a sharper nose to it, get a little bit more of a sharper side and everything like that, kind of like the Model 3 got. Other than that, you can probably expect new, mo uh, new wheels to be put on it. Maybe a new upgraded hardware 5 that they're talking about that's already in prototype at the moment. They're in developing of a new hardware 5. As you know, everything else that's getting produced right now is considered hardware 4. And um, they're constantly upgrading the camera suite around the car. So we also know um, that the car will get an interior refresh. So on the Model 3, for example, there's new wheel with new um, tactile uh, tactile buttons, new scroll wheels on the wheel, uh, your turn signal and everything is on the steering wheel. The To change the gears is all on the screen now instead of having an actual stock. We now have it, it'll be on the screen similar to the new Model 3. Some other additions are going to be new seats that are a little bit more comfortable as well as not only heated seats but they'll get air conditioned seats for the front driver seats. The rear seats will then be heated. This is all what we expect based on the Model 3. Uh, upgraded software so that it's faster, new processors probably more than likely that will come to the Model Y with the update. The Model 3 will then get probably that update later because the software, the, the processors they upgrade about once a year to keep with the fastest stuff out there. You can expect probably better efficiency with the new Model Y as they did with the new Model 3. They increased the efficiency through the aerodynamics as well as the new wheels on there. So, you know, you can expect better efficiency. Maybe a smaller battery pack so that you get the same range but you have a lighter weight. Uh, we don't really know. That's all just guesses at the moment. We know with the Model 3 they didn't really change anything there other than the aerodynamics. Another upgrade that's probably going to come to the Model Y is going to make it better for the family friendly with the kiddos in the back. It's going to be there's a screen in the back of the center console that can be used for both controlling the air conditioning, watching things like YouTube, Netflix, and all the other video apps can be watched right on that screen. That's already in the Model 3 updated version, so you can definitely expect that in the new updated Model Y. That's going to make that a family car times two. Really, uh, it's going to just make it a lot nicer. I expect to be, there to be some upgrades to the back seats as well, kind of like there were with the Model 3, a little bit more space potentially, make it easier for a car seat to fit in and out of that thing. And then they may make some upgrades to the back of the car, just small things to improve capa storage capacity. Uh, overall, just small capacity increases so that the volume is, is larger on the inside of the car and the seating room is bigger. That's what I would expect with Tesla. They did it with the new Model 3 a little bit and it's kind of the common norm for any SUV manufacturer to make space a little bit better, a little bit more efficient. Now, some rumors that um, we haven't really found out and I think this really depends on when the Model Y gets launched. First off, when is it launching? So, uh, 
Elon Musk has actually recently said that it will not be in the year 2024. Uh, we won't see this until 2025. So that's six months from now, uh, really five months from now. So that's at least that long before we get it, most likely. Now we are already seeing prototypes on the road. This is the first time we're seeing prototypes on the road in the US. So we saw prototypes for the Model 3 on the road for about six months before we started actually getting it released and they, they launched it. If that's any indication, then 2025 is most likely gonna be when this thing is gonna be launched. Uh, or at least uh, shown off and, and gone into manufacturing. Now, by the name of Juniper, I kind of wonder if they're not going to try to launch it in June of 2025. That would be kind of funny, but I don't think that's the case. It doesn't really have any name for that. They weren't planning that that far in advance. And we've heard the name Juniper for a very long time, similar like with the Model 3, we heard Project Highland, right? Um, so I don't expect anything big there, but 2025, you're probably going to expect it. And since it is still probably about a year out before manufacturing starts, there is a slight chance they are going to change this to a 40 volt, 48 volt architecture, similar to the Cybertruck, where it's a 48 volt low voltage, possibly 800 volt high voltage. This is the reason I don't think that's going to happen. The Model 3 did not get that update. And they like the Model 3 and the Model Y to share as many components as possible to keep the pricing down. So if they were going to make that change, they're going to make it to both of them at the same time um, or close to it. And since they didn't with the Model 3, I don't expect to see it with the Model Y Juniper uh, in any time soon. So more than likely, it's going to be very similar to what it is today. Um, you get just all the upgrades of the model Tesla Model 3 Highland that everybody's got now and um, it's going to be a very good car and my big question is to anybody who recently bought a model y or a model 3 do you plan to buy this new model y when it comes out let me know in the comments and while you're down there hit that like button and subscribe for more content so you see it's free to you it doesn't cost you anything but you can get notified and see when i come out with new videos on ev topics so Overall, looking forward to see this, and we'll see you guys on the next one.